Grasp all, lose all. Harry settles for the phone hacking case against the Mirror, but he's trapped by MGN Group. A few months ago, Prince Harry successfully argued that MGN had published 15 stories that relied upon information gathered by way of unlawful telephone hacking, and was accordingly awarded £140,000 in damages. This, however, left unresolved the further case pursued by Prince Harry against MGN for a further 115 stories that Prince Harry alleged could only have arisen as a result of similar practices. Prince Harry has now settled that case. This shouldn't be considered an easy win for Prince Harry as the case was bitterly fought over four years, and Prince Harry himself had to spend two full days in court being cross-examined on whether the information could have been gathered in any other way. In this regard, the presiding judge, Mr Justice Fancourt, was highly critical of both parties' adversarial approach to the proceedings. Prince Harry has reportedly settled the matter for around £300,000 in addition to payment of his legal costs, which after a four-year bitterly fought set of proceedings are likely to be very substantial. Mr Sherman, counsel for Prince Harry, read a statement on behalf of the Prince, calling for the rule of law to be upheld and for no one to be deemed above it, including Mr Morgan who was editor at the time. Meghan and Harry's spokesperson said that now Prince Harry is ready to settle further telephone hacking case against MGN. The Mirror, because the MGN group acquired what was left of the news of the world, has always been willing to compensate the news victims. And normally, when news victims sue, the Mirror always offers a settlement. If the victim doesn't like it, then they go to trial. The Mirror always seeks to reach an agreement, because its new owners indicate that they want to compensate for what happened in the past, that's their policy in these cases. Well, Sherburne has prosecuted more than 100 news victims, including Harry. They went for a first attempt at articles from before 2012. The Mirror did what they always did, offering £200,000. Sherburne didn't accept, because he assured Harry that they'd win more. Harry earned less, £140,000. Sherburne then took Harry to another trial, but this time Sherburne decided to negotiate. The Mirror offered 400,000 for 115 articles. Harry probably didn't want that deal, but he had to accept it. Why did the Mirror make that offer if they could win in a trial? Yes, the Mirror could win, but the Mirror wants to close the issue of news of the world. If there's a pending trial, other people would take note and see a way to open cases, and this would never end. Why did Harry accept the deal? Because he didn't actually win in the first one. He lost £60,000. So now, I take what the Mirror offered, and Sherburn is requiring the Mirror to pay the legal costs of all plaintiffs. But deep down, Harry's stabbing News Corps. He's not killing the Mirror, it's more about being a scavenger, not a dragon against the press. The Mirror is not paying for anything the Mirror's done. If Harry now wants to sue the Mirror for what it did after 2012, I don't think he can expect the same negotiating attitude.